So you were supposed to live here. That was settled by the court. Oh, the court was good at settling things. They told me if I'd accept the poor little orphan, he'd be useful, good company for a widow like I've been for years. That I could put him on the straight and narrow, and like a fool, I let them convince me. Do you know if he's been in Switzerland? Um, now, how did you know that? I didn't know. I asked you. Oh, about a year ago, he gave me 20 packs of cigarettes. He boasted he'd smuggled a whole lot of them in. Uh, you know that if your nephew crossed the frontier into Switzerland, he not only had no passport, but as a minor and under the jurisdiction of the court, it was illegal for him to leave the country. But of course I know that. And if Benito didn't sleep here, you know what I did? Mm -hmm. I always phoned the police. Uh, he was in my custody. It was my duty to report mm -hmm. him, wasn't it? And you know what they answered at the police station? Yes, senor, I will make a note of that. <laughs> but the way things are today, no one expects the police to worry about a kid once you've got him off your hands. But why didn't you inform the police when he left the country? Why? You should have done that at least. Why, why? Because my nephew's a delinquent. And if he suspected I was going to report him to the police, I'd be murdered. And I paid enough for letting him into this house. What happened? Lana? What's the matter? If you don't tell me what your brother did, I'll oh, choke you. Honest. If you're hiding... Here, this is Dr. Biondi's house. What about? and Indians at the movie house. Just smell it. Smell it. Hey. It stinks, eh? What a degenerate that you call your son. Yesterday at the movie house, he pissed over the balcony on Dr. Biondi. And it's gonna cost me three gold scoozies. Sure that he has three nothing gold. to do with it. It's those ruffians that go bothering the child. Oh, yeah. You're always covering up for him. You're always defending them, these delinquent sons of bitches. They're two hardened criminals. They should have been raised better. Really? Much better. Now it's what I did that's wrong, huh? You're but, gonna but, pay for this in hell. So help you, me God, you. I swear you'll pay for it. Yeah, tomorrow. By God, you're gonna pay for it. Yeah. I'm gonna kill him, I swear. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. You don't think I'll do it? No. No? Oh, no. <laughs> Someday I'll put strychnine in this spot. I poison the whole lot of you. If he doesn't get excited, what can I do? Well, just you lie back on the bed and move your legs and let him get a glimpse and pretend you just gotta have it. Like, ah, oh, you gotta give me every inch of it. Oh. Yes, only, what if it doesn't work? Look, Miss First, if that don't get it up, you've got a corpse in your hand. <laughs> Please, I'm not paying you to make jokes. You wanna know the secret, the big heart maker? Let's see another ten. You'll have it. If you tell me first. Just something. Just wail on his thing. It'll get like a telephone pole. How? Are you for real? Turn into a trombone player. Or maybe I should have said French horn. For crying out loud, you got to know what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, yes, Inspector. Little Laura was like a lamb among the wolves. Oh, she was so naive, you have no idea. She got into the wrong company. I mean, you know how it is. You saw what's going on upstairs, poor child. I did everything I could to help her. She was so lonely, she used to come down and chat with me for hours. Seems strange she didn't have any boyfriends. Oh, I know. But you could tell she'd had a good education. I mean, a girl like that doesn't go around with just anyone. Old-fashioned, huh? Oh, but all's well that ends well. One day it all changed. A lady came to see her, and Laura packed her bags and left. A lady? Yes, a lady. I think she was her aunt, or so Laura said. But one thing I can tell you for sure, huh? Whoever she is, she's in a different class to them. <laughs> As cockroaches go, you're getting on. At our age, we have to be careful. We get greedy and stupid. Don't be shy. Make yourself at home. I was talking to you. You better get used to it. But I'm no use to you, my dear. I prefer to make friends with animals. They don't do anything they don't mean. They never stab you in the back. And they keep their mouths shut. I mean this. So listen to what I say. If you want to survive in this toilet, mind your own business and no one else's. Raquel! Ah, finally. Raquel, finally. I've written to Benito again and again, but he has never answered me. I'm desperate, Raquel. If you had a talk with him, he would listen to you. Those fanatics. The Duce can't allow them to kill him. No, no one is out to do that. They go marching through the streets saying, Death to Chano. They keep yelling, Death, Death. Now it's 
depends entirely on the Duce. If he says no, it's no. Oh, Rachele, I implore you, speak to him. Tell him to receive me, to listen to me, at least once. Uh, Raquel. Raquel, can you hear me? Raquel. Phaedra, give me back the child, and your sentence will be light. Never. He's mine. But you have his brother. I left you the puny one. I need them both. I created them for a purpose. Confound your purpose. Your time is up, precious diva. The kingdom you stole from me will soon be mine once more. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. I have done much to stop you. And before Never you... Never enough. Never enough, you fool. You lack the power. Do not interrupt me, you jade. With the golden chest of the ages in my possession, good and right are on my side. For the time being, perhaps. But time is running out. You rang, ma'am? Yes. Would you please go fetch my ward? Her name is Angelica Pickering, and you'll find her down in third class, cabin 39. I want her here immediately, if not sooner. You didn't pack our clothes properly, you clumsy girl. Bernice's dress even has a rip in it. Pick up those bits of broken china at once. Then mend and iron our clothes so we can attend the reception to welcome us aboard. In any case, you can't come. You can't come. You've nothing to wear. Nothing to wear. No one's going to. No one's going to lend you anything.